Howdy FGCs it is a great honor and privilege that I present to you the first Flight Gear Electric Rally. Alrighty! Hello hello everyone, welcome back to Dora Kitty. Now at the beginning of this month, <laughs> it's been a while, a challenge has been published to fly from Ibiza Airport to Granada Airport using this plane right here, the Rolls-Royce XL Electric Aircraft. Now, if you've been following EV circles, you've known that some people do something called hypermodeling, and that is to drive further than the manufacturers dare to put on their labels as a challenge. <laughs> and this is actually going to be something similar, because this plane, as far as I'm able to tell, is only rated for up to 200 miles, and between these two airports, it's 260 miles, actually more than that. So, this is going to be a fun one. Of course, because I am in simulator, there are some things which I'm able to afford, which a real, which isn't available in the real plane. And that is, I have an autopilot dialogue and can access. I think there's an actual autopilot. It shows on the dials, but I don't know where it's turned on. Probably here. Also, I'm going to be using. Another feature of the autopilot, which a real airplane definitely doesn't have, at least connected to the plane, I think, which is a GPS. In fact, a real plane does not even have a nav radio. Uh, it is understandable because this is a racing plane. It is not something you would hop in for your multi-dollar burger. <laughs> and definitely not something you would usually be doing IFR stuff in. So this was okay, but this is not going to be okay for me. Yeah. So, let's turn this on and roll off. Right, so we're getting up to speed now. Raise it up, pull the gear, because the gear takes a lot of drag and this plane's battery is not really large enough to do things well. Birds! I'm going to pull up across that so that it doesn't get sucked into my engine. Right, we're off and it's time to me for me to turn on the autopilot. Another thing that's going to be very fun with this flight is that the weather isn't exactly perfect. The visibility is good, but there is a lot of cloud cover at both the origin airport, which you can see here, and the destination airport. So it's going to be a little bit troublesome because I cannot use the iOS, and even then, the iOS is the long way around, which is not going to be useful. It will reduce our margins even more. So we just gotta fight, fight through it, I guess. <laughs> we have a GPS, it will be fine. Promise. <laughs> And also, I actually cannot show you any of the cockpit shots because one of the challenges in this, well, challenge, is to figure out the altitude and speed combination which will make this even possible. And the cockpit has my altitude and speed all over the place. So yeah, I won't be able to do that. <laughs> and speaking of using a flight simulator, there's something else which I'm able to do, which is time accelerate. Uh, you know, time acceleration in flight gear, as far as I'm as far as I can tell, runs the Flight Dynamics model with the same rate as if there is no time acceleration. So there's no loss of precision here. Uh, sometimes the autopilot will have trouble because now it's getting control of the aircraft only every couple of seconds or so, but this one, the generic autopilot, which is what this thing uses, is coupled uh, to the rate of the Flight Dynamics model, so this is going to work just fine. It's past cloud blank. That gives me a lot of hope because it has been really cloudy the past few tries and hopefully this time I will get something better. Now we're flying from Ibiza Island to the mainland now, I think. So we should see the coastline coming up in a few moments. You know, this plane is like actually so sensitive that the new generic autopilot, which is what I'm using here, couldn't handle it without oscillations. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a fun one, guys. I also will have to manually override this at some point because it will actually try to fly into a mountain. There we are! The coastline! It's coming up to our right and it's going to come up to our front as well. It's a bit of fog covering the ground, but uh, even though there's not much cloud up here. Hello to another airport which is going to pass right through! <laughs> this looks absolutely gorgeous! <laughs> 
Wow! Thing is, uh, I think the vegetation mass is here. Whoa. Loving it. Hello, First Bank of Mountains! <laughs> I see ya! Autopilot waving for it, fat. We just pass one bank of mountain and zooming right through the landscape. Oh, I'm loving it. It's so beautiful. Not as good as full of scenery, but it's pretty good. Oh, part having trouble there. Actually, it's a, that's enough. So let's descend about to there, and then we will stop and wait until we see the runway. Alright, plus one. Still using our pilot. We have visual! Right, we have visual, guys. So I'm going- uh, this turned off heading mode. Turn off that too. And let's start sending. Alright, we have like 28% left in the battery so far, so I think we're good. We have like an hour or so of reserve. So we actually we actually do have our final reserve fuel thingy. I think we have some crosswind here, so we're going to turn right a little bit more. I'm going to decelerate to about 100. Throw on flaps 2. Uh oh. <laughs> at, least I, at least I can still see the threshold. Let's pop the gear down. Eighty knots, slot three. I'm swinging side to side a lot, am I? I'm not high. A little bit low. Let's pull up. Swipes are nice and stable, so we're going to pull up, uh, pull off the last bit of the autopilot now, and do that manually. We will need to bring it down to idle after when we touch down. Looking good. Getting fair now, so when it's too idle, it's not flaring. Alright! Think we have arrived. We are at Granada Airport. With quite a bit of fuel to spare too. How many units do we have? 27%. Not as good as I would wager, but still pretty good. The thing about tailwheels is that you cannot brake too hard, because you will actually tip over. Ask me how I know. Uh, this challenge failed a bunch. Of, I failed a bunch of these attempts purely because the tail. Uh, purely because I tipped over. <laughs> so here is the terminal. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm kind of lucky that it arrived just as the weather update came in because it got absolutely murky down here, which would make this thing a whole lot harder. Hello, how are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? You guys want to see my new electric engine? No parking brakes on this thing, huh? Alright, fine. So, we are here! Safely at the parking. Let me take a screenshot real quick, just just to get it on the record, and I'm going to turn this on again to get my official numbers 
as to the voltages, which is 27%. Alright, thanks for watching, Dora Kitty. Just took a bunch of time trying to find the right combination, and finally training to fly a tail wheel so I can land this properly. I'll see you again next time. Might be a live stream because exams are coming up again, but we'll see how it goes. Have a nice flight. If you ask me if it's actually raining, there's a light drizzle, so I guess it's raining, but it isn't showing. <laughs>